Allow me to bid you welcome to Nemasa this week. I am Frank Ido. Now, today on the program, we're going to take you on a tour. We're going to start with the Baramatu Kingdom, then we go to Lagos, and of course, we traverse the Nigerian coastal waters. Let me be explanatory. First of all, the Baramatu Kingdom is known as a maritime community. Why, you may ask? Well, because of the presence of the Nigerian Maritime University there, which had its first matriculation ceremony ever. Well, we're going to give you a report on that. Now, over here at Lagos, Nemasa is continuing its CSR initiative to the society by uh, providing relief materials to internally displaced persons. We have information on that also. And finally, do you, do you know that the International Maritime Bureau gave Nigeria a thumbs up because Nemasa has reduced piracy on Nigerian waters? These and many more on this fantastic package known as Nemasa this week. So without further ado, let's get on with the program. Once again, I am Frank Ido. Welcome. Introducing the new face of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA. We are charting the direction for a maritime and regulating the industry for a better, bigger, and more economically stable Nigeria. Evolved to serve you better. We are NIMASA. New face, rejuvenated service. NIMASA. Changing the tides in your favor. Now let's proceed to the Baramatu Kingdom of Wari South local government in Delta State. Well, there was a great affair that took place there. The first ever matriculation of the Nigerian Maritime University. Now the occasion was so large, we're bringing you two reports. The first part is about the commissioning of projects at that particular university. Have a look. The Nigerian Maritime University was established by the Federal Government of Nigeria to provide facilities and faculties for training, research, and production of maritime human resources and equipment. It was established to develop the high-end component of human capital for the Nigerian maritime industry. Located at the heart of Baramatu Kingdom in Wari, southwest local government area of Delta State, the temporary site is in Kurutie, and that was where the first ever matriculation ceremony took place. It was a carnival-like atmosphere. The host community trooped out in their numbers to welcome the dignitaries to their community. From the Deputy Governor of Delta State, Barrister Kingsley Oturo, to the Director General of NEMASA, Dr. Dakuku Peterside, and the Pro-Chancellor of the University, and Chairman Governing Council, Chief Timi Priye Silva, federal and state lawmakers from Delta State also joined in the matriculation-turned-celebration. Then it was time to commission the imposing structures located in the temporary site of the university, from the multi-purpose hall to the 500-seater lecture theater to the school clinic, diving tank which is the only one in Nigeria, and hostels among others. The Director General, Nemasa Dr. Dakuku Peterside, flanked by Chief Timipriye Silva and the Deputy Governor, Barista Otuaro, took turns in commissioning the projects. Nigeria is determined to maximize the advantage of the maritime industry because we are endowed and that everything that needs to be done will be done, including of this campus of the Nigeria Maritime University to the glory of God and for the use of mankind. On behalf of the Honorable Minister of Education of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I want to dedicate this building to the glory of God and for the use of humanity. 
The matriculating students who were dressed in their smart outfits, depicting the special nature of the university, marched past to the delight of all. <laughs> The Nigerian Maritime University. It came to Okaren Koko in Delta State. It was a wonderful achievement. And uh, the Director General of the MASA, Dr. Dakuku Peterside, also reiterated the importance of the existence of this university in Nigeria, as if it will boost the economic importance of the country. Well, during the matriculation ceremony, a lot of personalities and luminaries converged in Delta State to witness the occasion. All right, we're going to give you what happened, what took place in that epoch-making event. The hall was filled to capacity with matriculating students, family and friends. This is the first ever matriculation in the heart of the creeks of the Niger Delta in Delta State. When Vice President Yamio Shibajo visited the university some time ago, he noted that the project was another demonstration of Niger Delta's strategic importance to Nigeria. Oshibajo said it also showed how the federal government was walking the talk in the Niger Delta. In his speech, the pro-chancellor of the university and chairman governing council, Chief Timipriye Silva, commended Nimasa's vision and support for the university, saying the institution has demonstrated capacity to play a key role in the global maritime industry. We thank the DG Nemasa for all the tireless support we have received from you. We were recently visited by the Niger Delta Joint Tax Force and they pledged to collaborate with the university going forward. The NLU has also signed a cooperation agreement with the CMU, the Caribbean Maritime University, Jamaica, a foremost maritime university. The research was here, and already that collaboration has started yielding benefits. Two of our cadets have been offered scholarships to enable them to complete their training at the Caribbean Maritime University, Jamaica. The Vice Chancellor, Professor Ongoi B. Morin Etebu, appreciated Nemasa for initiating and encouraging the university. She noted that the federal government had fully implemented the 3.4 billion Naira takeoff grant for NMU in 2018 budget. She also had words of gratitude for the host community, Kurutie, in Baramatu Kingdom. It is with this euphoria that I recall that the idea of establishing the Maritime University was conceived primarily by the Nigeria Maritime and Safety Agency in Nimasa. Nimasa indeed is our big, big, big brother. <laughs> Recall that there was a time MMU single, uh, Nimasa single-handedly paid three month salaries of members of staff of this university. NMU, uh, Nimasa is always there for NMU. And that which is evident Nimasa is evidently our big brother, and His Excellency Mr. President, Mohamed Buhari, GCFR, is our father, our Baba, and our daddy. Why, you may ask. This is it. In the 2018 fiscal year, our daddy himself is at 5 billion, 5 billion, 5 billion naira as a grant for NMU in the federal budget, out of which the National Assembly approved 3.4 billion naira. The Director General of the Massa, Dr. Dakuku Peterside, described the coming to reality of the Nigerian Maritime University as a dream come true. He noted the need for continuous funding for the university, which has the potential of growing human capacity for Nigerian maritime industry. Many years ago, precisely in the year 2013, Nimasa initiated the idea of the Nigerian Maritime University to fill a gap. We identify the fact that if you want to grow your maritime industry, there are three important elements. One is the asset, the best so the second one is the human capacity. 
The third is the supporting infrastructure. For these three, the most important is the human element. And we clearly identify the fact that we are lacking behind in human element and we needed to build capacity. And to build high-end capacity, we need that our own maritime university. We are among the leading maritime nations without a maritime university. And so today the fulfillment of that great dream. Speaking further, Dr. Dakuku noted that Nemasa is gradually repositioning Nigeria to become a major hub for maritime activities on the African continent. We are gradually repositioning this country to become a major hub for maritime activities. And when we say major hub for maritime activities, it's not just about transshipment or about shipment itself. You know, it could be a hub just supplying manpower, supplying seafarers, doing insurance business or being um, in the business of ship finance and many of those things. We're, we're gradually turning to be a hub. We're, we're putting the right building blocks in place to make this country uh, a hub for maritime activities. And we'll begin to reap the benefits in a few years' time. Vice President Yemi Oshibajo, who was represented by the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Niger Delta Affairs, Chief Edobo Iyamo, said the commencement of academic activities at the Premier Maritime University in Nigeria was another example of how the President Muhammadu Buhari government was walking the talk in the Niger Delta region, which is not being viewed in terms of its past, but in terms of its potential. As the pioneer set of students of this landmark institution, you are all standing on a threshold of history and we rejoice with you. This is a day we have long awaited and looked forward to. I'm delighted it has come and we are here to witness it. What we are seeing today, it is a symbol of the collective aspiration of every one person in this kingdom, from the crown to the least, as well as well-meaning persons, cutting across the whole of the stretch of the Niger Delta. And we are very happy to note and see that this long agitation has come to fruition by the response of the federal government to the yearnings of the people of this region. And indeed, we are very happy. And I want to join my voice to that of the VC to once again congratulate many lot of us, too numerous to mention, that have played one significant role or the order to ensure that this fantastic university, Nigeria Maritime University, come to stay. God bless you all. NMU, which is solely owned by the federal government, started academic activities in April 2017. Last Saturday's matriculation ceremony was a combined exercise for the 2017-2018 and 2018-2019 students. Apart from Nimasa regulating the affairs of maritime in the country, it also realizes that it is important for it to fulfill responsibility, corporate social responsibility to be exact. And that's what has been taking place in terms of internally displaced persons. Nimasa has started a drive so that soccer and comfort will be given to these people through relief materials and of course care. Well. A team led by Hajia Lami Tumaka on behalf of Nemasa went recently to the relief camp in Igondo to fulfill that responsibility. It was a wonderful sight to behold and an example that other corporate bodies should emulate. Here's the report. The relief center is located in a suburb of Lagos, Igondo, to be specific. From the looks of the people, you could see joy, excitement as the Nemasa team arrived with the relief materials. 
Director, Special Duties, Nemasa Hajia Lami Tumaka, made this presentation on behalf of the Director General Nemasa, Dr. Dakuku Peterside. She noted that the management of Nemasa will continuously support the efforts of the federal government to alleviate the sufferings of internally displaced people noting that the agency has decided to identify with victims of floods and other natural disasters living in various camps across the country. This is with the intention of rendering minimal assistance to them and make them have a sense of belonging. A young seven-year-old girl actually touched me, particularly this time around. She lost her twin in that, in that disaster. So when you come and you see things like this, they spoil you to do more. And I'm also using this opportunity to call on other government agencies to come and make their own contributions as well. You, you can't imagine, you can't imagine the lives that you touch and given just a little. Hajia Lami Tumaka also noted that the agency's gesture is also in line with the federal government's directive that ministries, departments and agencies, MDAs, should render assistance to affected states in the country. I am here actually representing the Director General, Dr. Dakuku Peter Said, the executive management and the board who approved for the matter to make this contribution and distribution to 20 states of the Federation. Recall that uh, the federal government made an appeal to all of its agencies to come and help in mitigating, come and help in helping make contributions to disasters that have been occurring in the country, man-made, natural uh, disasters and that is why we're here to make these uh, contributions on behalf of NIMASA. While handing over the materials to officials of the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, LASEMA, she prayed that the Almighty God will help the country so that all these natural disasters will be a thing of the past for the needs of internally displaced persons. The General Manager of the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, LASEMA, Mr. Adeshino Tiamu, applauded the gesture of the agency and expressed the readiness of the Lagos State Government to continue to partner with other relevant organizations. This is a very good example of corporate social responsibility that we've always been talking about. I am sure when these people have their rations from all that you have brought, a lot more prayers will come to staff and management of uh, the matter. Part of what was donated include food items, clothing materials, toiletries, amongst other household materials. Every great nation is also a great shipping country. Every great shipping country is a great nation. Maritime in Nigeria is growing. So you need to be informed about the work of the regulatory body of the Nigerian maritime industry. My name is Daku Kupitesai. I bet you you're going to find out that it's a time well spent. For news, views and reviews, join us every week on this station on The Massa This Week. Well, the International Maritime Bureau, IMB, has given us good tidings and good news on behalf of Nigeria. It has submitted its quarterly report for 2019, for the first quarter. And it has stated that in the Gulf of Guinea, piracy and other criminal activities are on the downward spiral. Well, Nigeria is inclusive in that, and commendation was given to the country. Well, I'll tell you that we have taken the lead to curb piracy and other criminal activities. Let's hope that the second quarter would finally take our rightful place in terms of these bad activities on coastal waters. Here's the report. The first quarter of 2019 has witnessed fewer incidents of piracy and armed robbery against ships than the first three months of 2018, as Nigeria experienced a decrease in reported piracy incidents. This is according to the report released by the International Maritime Bureau, IMB. Nigeria is said to have reported 
14 incidents of piracy for the first quarter of 2019 in comparison to 22 incidents in the first quarter of 2018, which is attributed to the efforts of all maritime agencies in Nigeria, including the MASA, the Nigerian Navy's increased efforts to respond to reported incidents by dispatching patrol boats. This was stated by the 2019 first quarter report of the International Maritime Bureau, IMB. The IMB Piracy Reporting Center, a 24-hour free service offered by the IMB, enables shipmasters to report any incidents of piracy and armed robbery globally against ships. Since 1991, the IMB Piracy Reporting Center has provided the industry, government bodies and response agencies with timely data on the location of piracy and armed robbery incidents at sea. The DG of NEMASA, Dr. Dakuku Peterside, has constantly reiterated the commitment of NEMASA to collaborate in enhancing safety and security on Nigerian waters and the Gulf of Guinea. We consider maritime security a priority in the list of the issues we want to deal with in the sector. For without maritime security, we cannot optimize benefit in that sector. IMB reiterated the importance of data sharing, which it said remained critical. According to IMB, the declining rate of piracy incidents worldwide in the first quarter of 2019 reinforces the importance of transparency, communication and coordination between vessels and coastal authorities. By reporting all incidents to the IMB Piracy Reporting Center and coastal authorities, the response can be better organized, improving incident response times and prompt advice to vessels aimed at a more optimal use of resources. National governments and coastal authorities can use this data to collaborate and strengthen their privacy prevention efforts. Alright, so we've come to the end of the program. I know time flies very fast, especially when you're reading out achievements of what's happening in the Nigerian maritime industry and what we are doing, the policies. It's always on this program, so always keep a date with us. Now, on the program today, we talked about a lot of things. You now know that we have the Nigerian Maritime University located in the Gbaramatu Kingdom in Delta State. And of course, it held its first matriculation ceremony ever, and it was a wonderful and grand event. Now, CSR is still going on in Namasa as we went to Igondo to provide relief materials for the internally displaced persons. So we have covered Igondo and we have to go all over the nation and until it's covered, uh, Nemasa will not rest on its oars to make sure that relief is provided and care is given. All right, and finally, we talked about the new Very wonderful in terms of curbing criminal activities on Nigerian coastal waters in the Gulf of Guinea. And they said we are to be commended. So congratulations to Namasa, congratulations to Nigeria as a whole. Now what's going to take place in the next episode of Namasa this week? I don't know because the development can come from anywhere. I, good news can come from anywhere. And of course we have new plans to burgeon the Nigerian maritime industry. But until then, I remain Frank Ido. We'll be back next week with whatever happens in the Nigerian maritime industry. Take care and have a nice time. Bye-bye.